Thank you, Dr. Manisha. I think we have a question from a student coming up now. And ask about research. Like in in the state, we don't focus so much on research, and most of the colleges they are like just education and MBBS degree and get off with it. But for PG, I want to get into a more research-oriented institution. Like, could you suggest some of those research-oriented institutions and? So how do you get into clinical research? That's a very big question. Uh, luckily, uh, they're very f actually in India research, as Madam told, is still work in progress. There are very few institutes in India where the entire institute is dedicated for research. I belong to Indian Council of Medical Research, which is, uh, I belong to National Institute of Nutrition, which is a sister institute of Indian Council of Medical Research. So ICMR is clearly the research for doctors. You know, there's no other research that actually uh, caters to doctors better than ICMR. And ICMR itself has very few positions in clinical research. Uh, I will tell you how to enter into clinical research. The first thing is, we are lucky to have NI in Hyderabad. We are very lucky to have, so I, I was lucky to have, not we, I was lucky to have NI in Hyderabad because I had this aptitude for research. And I was also interested in nutrition. So these two compounded me to join NI. So in typically, if you want to be working as a research Immediately after MBBS, you mean? Yeah, I would say it's a very bad idea. It's a very bad idea. I will tell you why. Uh, I think one, my area of interest was nutrition. So I had a degree in nutrition and then joined NIN. So I at least had an impetus to what I was working on. But if you have an, uh, at least you need to have some master's degree. I think I was really worried for myself not having MD degree. So I would always suggest not to join research or even hospitals for that matter. In fact, yeah. don't do anything, uh, at least you do your master's or you do MD after MBBS. Don't do anything. I mean, don't do a part-time job, don't work as a duty medical officer. Just don't do anything. Just read, read, read. For the first year, 50% will, will uh, get placements in some postgraduate MD degree or MS degrees. Second year also do the same thing. Just don't work anything, not even part-time. You'll get 75% of you will be getting the uh, master's MD degree or MS degree. For the third year, also do the same thing. I'm saying you, you'll be getting some MD degree or MS degree. 99% will be getting that thing. Only the one person thinks, I would suggest just don't read after three years. Just work. But don't do anything. I'm going to say if you're poor, take a loan. If you want to give to a mother or parents, take a loan. But don't work. Don't work for the first three years. It's the most crucial phase for any MBBS graduate degree. Just don't work. If you're trying, after just finishing, no, no matter how poor you are, this, there are always some solutions. There are always some, try to work on the solutions. Once you get a degree, an MD degree, then you can pursue your career in research. Uh, Indian Council of Medical Research has a lot of openings now. I think uh, if anyone is interested in research, this is the best time actually to have some publications, especially in your postgraduate degree, not even in this. And then apply for ICMR. ICMR is one of the beautiful institutes you'll be ever working in, in India. Uh, actually, I will be telling you, uh, scientists in, in India are pampered. You know, I'll, I'll tell you why we are pampered. In abroad, if you were a scientist, uh, they don't give you a salary as such. You know, every month you don't get a paycheck like that. You get a salary from a grant, you apply for a project. So usually write a proposal, a project, where the project is about one million or two million dollars. And in that money, you get your salary. So the only way to get a salary is to actually write a project and get to be approved. So that takes a lot of time, a lot of effort from you abroad. But in India, you, no matter what you do, you get your paycheck every month. Actually, uh, for me, my salary is about uh, 70,000. After take home, it will be 60,000. But I think it's a very decent salary for me. And uh, it's not just not about salary. I mean, I want to also talk about the quality of life of a clinical researcher at ICMR. So we do travel a lot. See, at such a young age, I happen to be here and talking to big people here. I'm so lucky, isn't it? So these are things you are get advantages in working on such reputed institutes. But still, I would say, just, just don't join like that. Have your MD degree. First three years, just focus on that. Just focus on getting your MD, uh, joining some postgraduate degree. 
any postgraduate degree is fine. I won't say, I said, even nutrition is fine if you're an expert in that field. Or, or any small degree, if you're an expert in that field, and if the field has some relevance, you'll be uh, earning a lot of money. I think that's my take home message. Be expert in your own field, no matter how, I mean, people always say become, uh, I think the radiology was the number one when I was doing that. But not even radiology, any small subject, take, be an expert in that subject, and I think you'll be doing good. Yeah. Sir, does ICMR have any uh, workshops for undergraduates like to... IC, you know, actually ICMR has a fellowship for uh, 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 short-term fellowships. We give over 10,000 rupees. Dr. Sudhir Mane was actually... Dr. Sudhir Mane is here? MBBS student? He's presenting his poster. So he's not here. He is not here, yeah. So I was actually guiding him. So, he's a, so you have a 10,000 rupees fellowship in the third and fourth year where you can actually apply for the ICMR and you can do your own <laughs> So that will give you some research impetus. But again I said, nah, don't, I mean, don't think about research right now. It will be after postgraduate, after your MD. So always do some MD and then go to postgraduate. Don't do any other thing. I'm saying, I think, MD, uh, we, uh, as I said, we are diamonds and we need to be doing MD and once you're that, you, you'll be the king in your own area, okay? Thank you. I'd like to just add a little to that. Um, this uh, clinical research and aptitude and orientation towards clinical research should be inculcated from the undergraduate uh, uh, field. So because it's not added to the curriculum as such, what you can do is you can look up the ICMR website. Even when we were students, we had short-term research fellowships, summer internships they used to call. It will give you an insight into how to go about researching. You know, you pick up your own topic, you apply, you may get a uh, grant, small grant they give you. So work under some professor and in some department for a topic of your choice. It's a two to three month research project under the ICMR uh, uh, umbrella. So you get an insight into how you have to go about doing research on a particular topic. It's a very, uh, what to say, interesting, a very important uh, aspect. I think all of you should experience that. Uh, research uh, project. Even if you don't get an ICMR scholarship, you can uh, do a summer internship while you are an undergrad with somebody, you know, uh, who is actually doing some major research. Any of your uh, professors from the clinical side, they may uh, use your uh, services for a short time, two to three months. It's very important that you get exposed because later when you make the decision, this will help you. The orientation the aptitude and an insight into what actually makes for a clinical research. I think that is very important. For those who feel, I mean, uh, NTR University of Health Sciences and also degree for, uh, PhD degree for MBBS students, you need to have two publications, uh, with three, uh, at least two publications as a first author and you'll be eligible to do a full-time PhD. I think that's a very good opportunity to do non-clinical subjects with an MBBS degree. So, in your MBBS degree, if you can publish two papers in peer-reviewed journals, like doing STS fellowships or working with some people, then you can, you'll be eligible straight away to PhD. I think Usmani Medical College also has PhD like in non-clinical subjects. So, if that's also a path. So, there are a lot of paths. Have that degree and then, then do so whatever you want. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Skanakadurga and Mamidi. Uh, uh, just for your information, uh, ma'ams, we have our students uh, from Osmania, I mean, from Osmania Gandhi, all the medical colleges here. Maybe their college needs to uh, start it actively. Every year we send many applications for the ICMR short-term scholarship projects. We personally, all of us, have been actively involved in that for more than 10 years now. And I think this year we have seven STS projects. So this is a very good opportunity for students to look up. In fact, as they finish their anatomy, I tell them you start thinking about that, start planning, shortlisting topics and all. And uh, one point that Dr. Mamidi brought out is don't uh, get acquainted with research and research methodologies and the various aspects of that, but do not think of going into research until you develop your credentials, your MBBS and your MD. And uh, also Dr. NTR UHS, as he said, has a very good uh, and very well respected PhD program which is going on very well. So that is an option open to those who finish uh, their post graduation or after their MBBS 
if they have some publications of value, peer-reviewed journals. And as far as funding for research is concerned, ICMR is the prime body, but the funds are also, ample funds are available with the Department of Science and Technology, Department of Biotechnology, and even with CSIR. So it depends on which aspect of uh, medical sciences we want to do. I see a question.